Hello everyone. Hello everybody. Welcome to Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. Hope y'all are doing good and hope y'all are having a good weekend so far. Yeah. And uh, as always, before we get started, if you think you're going to like everything, please go ahead and press the like button for us. It greatly helps out. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to Life with My Channel, please go ahead and subscribe and press the notification bell so you can get notified when we upload next Saturday for Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. All right. And as always, if we have to change the day, like if we had to change it back to Friday, we'll just... We'll I'll just, let you know in the morning coffee yeah, break. Yeah. Okay, here's our featured item. We got that on at Grocery Outlet. Okay, so our featured item this week is Quaker Rice Thin Salted Caramel Flavor. Oh, my goodness. We've had the caramel ones before. But oh, my goodness, y'all. These will be really good. I'm sure they probably got that bad. And I mean, any like like I've said before when we've tried Quaker products in the past, I mean, anything Quaker makes is good for you. You don't have to worry about, yeah. you don't have to worry about Quaker products being bad for you. Okay, if you eat 16 pieces, it's 120 calories, 5% total fat, no saturated fat, trans fat, or cholesterol, 6% uh, of sodium, 8% carbs, 4% fiber, only 4% sugars, that's what we like to hear, and 2% of iron. So they're not bad for you at all. Oh man, I smell that caramel smell right away. And these are the thin ones, the really thin ones. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, nice. see how thin they are? Yeah. Oh man. Man, these look really good. Mm. They're real thin. Oh wow. I don't know if we've ever had the ones that's this thin before. No, I don't think we have either. We've had the little rice cakes, but not not this well, thin. Well, I mean, well, I mean, they must be new because I mean, I know for a fact well, we've never had them. It before. says new on it. Oh, god! Right there. They're great. Oh man, they you, almost feel like a chip. You all are gonna love these. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, I wish I had a gigantic bag of them. Yeah, they just mm. had that side. Well, maybe we should check like Walmart or Kroger and see if they mm -hmm. have a bigger bag. It was oh. only a dollar. We do have one of them, one, another one of them. Oh, yeah. I'd like to have like a humongous bag, like the biggest bag they got. They're great. <laughs> and what was it said? How many was it? 13? Yeah, I think. No. Okay. 16 of them is the serving size. That's pretty good. All right. Here's something that we're not going to be trying many many soft drinks. Um, but yeah, we're we trying just, to watch our sugar. But yeah, we just wanted to try this because, you know, obviously the new Beetlejuice movie's out. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's out in theaters. It's not out to buy a ring yet. But I mean, it's, uh, but I mean, it's out in theaters. So we just wanted to try this Fanta because of the new Beetlejuice itself. And if I'm not mistaken, they had other bottles that had other members of the cast, I think. Yeah, I think bottles. like one of the other ones was like Winona, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Winona Ryder yeah. was one of the other ones and uh, some of the other cast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's Fanta uh, official Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice movie partner. Uh, and then the uh, flavors haunted apple. Yeah, I, we'll, we'll probably try some diet drinks every now and then. We just don't really drink sodas at all. Yeah, we, we, we don't, don't we, buy any sodas. We, just the only time we buy them is when we try them. Uh, you know, yeah, we, we don't buy we sodas don't regularly. It just they're so bad for you. We just don't. We just only buy them just for the shows. Well, this one's caffeine free. Oh, nice. Um, it actually says it's. Spiced apple soda. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, neat. And uh, it's got zero fat, 4% of sodium, 25% of carbs. And if you drink this whole bottle, you're going to be getting 139% of sugar. So you can see, Whoa. So you can see why. There's, oh there's 70 grams of sugars and 70 grams of added sugars. 
How do you get <laughs> how do you get that many sugars to begin with without putting sugar in it? <laughs> I guess it must I mean, be that it's sugar. liquid, you know. I mean I'm sure it's not from apple apples no. that you're getting all that sugar to begin with. And then but, they put seventy yeah. percent why don't they just put hundred and forty percent added sugars? I mean hundred and forty what grams. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. Just put 140 grams of sugars. Don't don't try to trick us by uh, splitting it in half or something. That's just okay. Let's see. It looks green, obviously. But yeah, I was uh, I was just really excited to try it just because of the new Beetlejuice movie. So There's some ice in there. I, I'm really actually glad we got one because I was really excited when I found out they were going to come out with these. I was really excited about it because of the new Beetlejuice movie. Actually, it's not bad. Oh, wow. That's really good. It's a little... That is really it? good. That is delicious. It's very good. Oh. It's got a little twang to it of something. I love it. I can't it. tell what... It, it's the spiced. The spiced taste. I can taste the apple, and then I can taste like a spice. I really love it, though, y'all. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can tell that it's spiced. Something, you know, like spiced what? Apple juice, did it say? Or apple soda? Spiced yeah. apple soda. Shoot, let's see. Well, yeah, if I'll you want to, if you want, uh, if you want to try it, it's obviously out in stores now. So if you want to go out and pick pick one up, you can. Okay. But one thing's for sure, it's very good. It is very, yeah, it very, is. very, very good. Let me take this good. in there and we'll try. It. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it is really good. I That's really. From Dollar Tree. Uh, yeah, it does have a good taste. I hope they have a, a diet one. Oh, man. That is so, so good, though, y'all. And once again, this is what the bottle looks like if you want to. This is what the bottle looks like if you want to go out and buy this one. Oh, but that is really good, though. I really, really think you all would enjoy it. If you're excited, if you're excited for the new Beetlejuice movie as much as we are, you're going to really like that. Well, she liked it. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah. All right. That one came from Dollar Tree. Okay. So, the next snack item that we have to try out that we got from Dollar Tree is Rufus... Uh, uh, Teague Rufus Teague barbecued some peanuts <laughs> uh, and it's barbecue honey roasted peanuts and that's oh. a new one on me I haven't seen that one yet that's the first wow. time I saw that brand barbecue roasted peanuts oh wow that, that's going to be good Let's see. Wow. if you eat a fourth of a cup they're 170 calories 17% total fat, 10% saturated, no trans fat or cholesterol, 5% sodium, 3% carbs, 7% fiber, 10% of sugars, 7 grams of protein, that's a good number, 2% uh, of iron, and 4% of potassium. Not real bad. I mean, there's a lot of things that have a lot more sugar than that. No, that's for sure. I can smell them as soon as... Wow. Let me pour some more. You can see the barbecue stuff. Hold on, down there. I'll get it when we get out. Yeah, these look really good, though, you know. Oh, I just. Hmm. I just walked another one. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. They're good. Mmm. Wow, it's got a lot of barbecue honey flavor. Mmm. Got like a coating, a coating on it. Yeah. Wow. I taste more honey than barbecue, but they're really good. I love these. I, I taste them more if it's sweet tasting just barbecue. Mmm. I love them. They're good. I'm not, I, I, got, I don't know if I've ever had barbecue honey peanuts mm -mm. before. I don't think so. Well, it, there was something like that that planters had in those little jars. 
Oh, the yeah. Ones, I think they had one something like that. Oh, yeah. That's but fine. I don't think it was honey roasted. But, yeah, that's, man, man those are really, y'all would really like those. Okay, this one, you can find these most anywhere, but I got this at a uh, grocery outlet because it was a small bag. They had the bigger bag of it, but we're trying to keep from having to buy so many big bags of stuff. But well, one thing's for sure, yeah. this one here, <laughs> I would definitely like to have a big old gigantic bag of this, these. Mm -hmm. They're really, really right, good. That's the only one. I, you know, I haven't seen those anywhere except for Dollar Tree, so I don't know. Uh, that's actually a decent amount for a bunch yeah. of quarter. Yeah, it is. It's right there. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty thick. I mean, there, there's certain things at Dollar Tree that are worth a dollar twenty-five. Some of the stuff at Dollar Tree is not worth it, mm -hmm. but yeah, my, some of them are pretty small portions in them. Okay. Most of the stuff at Dollar Tree is worth it. Like I said, this one came from Grocery Alley, but you can find Stacy's, I think, probably. Yeah, probably I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Stacy's Pita Chips is sold just about anywhere, so it doesn't yeah. matter. I, I know I've seen them at, at Kroger and Walmart. Okay, so uh, the next snack item that we have to try that we got from uh, Grocery Alley is Stacy's Pita Chips, and the flavor is Parmesan, garlic, and herb. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, these these are, would be great with some hummus. We that's what, that's hummus. exactly what I was getting ready to yeah, say. We these don't have be, any right now. We, we need to get some. The, these would be really good with hummus. Oh, my goodness. You're mm -hmm. talking about a healthy snack. Yeah. Uh, if you eat nine chips, it's 130 calories. I think they're pretty decent size. 6% uh, of total fat, 4% saturated, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 11% sodium, 7% carbs, 3% fiber. Four grams of protein. That's pretty good for a chip-like thing. Uh, Six percent of iron. So, uh, twice baked, no artificial colors or flavors. Low saturated fat. Okay. Oh, I smell uh, Parmesan. Oh, you can see it on it. Look at that. Oh wow! Yeah, you can. You can see Parmesan on it, or something dusty like Parmesan. Yeah, these would be. These are gonna be good. Oh, wow. I won't lie, they're a little mm. hard now. Mmm. Yeah. They're a little hard, but they're really, yeah, really tasty. Yeah, I mean... I'm not going to lie, yeah. if you... Yeah, they're, they're too hard I mean, for me to probably eat if, right if, now. if you have trouble with your teeth, um, if you have trouble with, like, chewing hard stuff, you probably wouldn't want to buy these. Yeah. But if you don't have any problem with your teeth, you'd really like these stuff. Yep, they're really... Mmm. I love them. Tastes great, though. I'm not complaining mm. about that. But I, you know... Mm, wow. I've got mm. little chips on my... on the back side of my teeth, and... I'm afraid well, to chew a whole lot of stuff. these would be like really that. good with hummus, though. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm. No, so far everything's been really good. Okay, here's one that came from Dollar Tree. I'm going to try and pick up some more stuff. I got uh, more like mixed nut, different kinds of nuts and little like trail mixes or something. Oh, oh cool. Uh, they're, they're like trail mixes. They've got like, uh, it had just different things in it. Y'all see when we, when we try them. I got a few different things. Because we've been kind of doing a lot of chip-like stuff, but there's uh, plenty of other healthy stuff too. And one of them is, is freeze-dried fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've and got. So there's other ones. The next time we go to Dollar Tree, you know, we'll try to get some more of those type things. Okay, so the next snack item we have to try that we got from Dollar Tree also is uh, so natural freeze-dried strawberries. Ooh, I love freeze-dried fruit. And, you know, you could put this on your cereal or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be good. There's really not a whole lot in here, by the way. It's, yeah. Uh, it's 0.6 ounces, a little over half an ounce. <laughs> uh, man, come on. Uh, one uh, Serving size is one bag. No wonder. Uh, no wonder. It's only 60 much calories. 60 <laughs> calories if you eat the whole bag. Uh, no fat. No saturated fat, trans fat, or cholesterol, or sodium. That's a lot of no's. Uh, <laughs> 5% of carbs, 4% of fiber, only 6% of sugars, 1 gram of protein, 6% of vitamin D, 2% of calcium, 2% of potassium. You know, what can you say bad about that? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's that's all good. No gluten free, no preservatives, and, and all natural. Uh, so I don't see why I have to. Well, really, it was only a dollar twenty-five. So how much can you really expect? You know? Yeah, I mean, and, it's yeah, I mean, it's not. Look, happen. I mean, like it's the whole strawberries. They're not cut up. See. Oh, nice. It's, it's the whole strawberry just frozen. Wow, that is really cool. Still, you know, that's awesome. Yeah. So that, I mean, you, you know that's the real deal. This doesn't it oh, looks wow. like a real strawberry. Mm. Oh, wow, that's really good. And mm. it's plenty sweet enough, and it's just why I say, uh, six, what was it, 6%? Yeah. Or something. Um, um, Six percent what sugars or something? I yeah, six percent for the whole bag. <clears throat> Just little. Oh, yeah, I'm dropping every time. <laughs> uh, these are these are really good though, you know. Mm. Right. Well, I hmm. like those being that low in sugar and not having to have any artificial. Sweet and you know, them. like. Like my dad said, I mean, you could put this on like cereal, put it on like uh, ice yogurt. Ice cream or something if you wanted to. You put it on cereal, yogurt, ice cream, whatever. And it would be, it would make I wonder it, if you could probably even throw it in a blender and make smoothies. Oh, yeah. You, pro you know, probably could. Yeah, just, of course, you'd probably have to buy like a million, well, not like a million bags, but. That'd be plenty could, enough for one. But I mean, you. Two. Yeah, I mean, if you if you bought one like if you bought one or two bags, that'd be mm -hmm. plenty enough for like one smoothie. Okay, we got one more. This came from Kroger. Remember, I got like four different kinds, and these are super healthy as well. Okay, so I believe this is the last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last snack item for this Logan's Awesome Snack of these for this weekend is uh, Harvest Snaps uh, baked red lentil snacks. Uh, crunchy loops and the flavor is sour cream and onion. So far, I'm I'm tied between the salted caramel uh, rice thins or whatever they're called and the freeze dried strawberries. I love both of them. Yeah. Okay, gluten free. Uh, veggies are always a number one ingredient. No artificial flavors or preservatives. Baked. This is a no fry zone. It says. You can have 22 of them, and it's 130 calories. 8% total fat, 3% saturated, no trans fat or cholesterol, 8% sodium, 6% carbs, 7% fiber, no sugars, 5 grams or 5% of protein, 4% of calcium, 6% of iron, and 2% of potassium. Great, great numbers, really. I mean, for that many of them, 22. So let's give these a try. I wish they had a, a thing, a Ziploc thing on them. You know? Yeah. Of course, we'll put the bag in a, in a Ziploc bag, but. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just wish. It they would had... be nice. It would be nice if they. Oh, well, they'd have to raise the price <laughs> if they did that. Mmm. 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 Oh, That's wow. Mmm. I think these would be dippable. Oh, these are really good, y'all. I think it'd be good with some dip, some French mm. onion dip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, wow. Ranch, ranch dip. Mm. I love these. I love they're good. These are great. Everything's been really good, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't really... Hmm. It's hard to pick a favorite. I guess if I had to pick a couple favorites, I guess it would be the salted caramel Quaker rice cakes. And then the uh, and then the honey barbecue peanuts. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm tied still between the freeze-dried strawberries and the salted caramel. Although I do love these; they're very good. But I think, yeah, I think my favorite would be the barbecue honey peanuts and the salted caramel uh, Quaker rice. Okay, peanuts. that's it, everybody. Well. That's all we have for this Logan's Awesome Snack Review, so I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and press the like button for us if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe to Life of My channel if you haven't yet subscribed. Uh, it's free. And press the notification bell so you can get notified when we upload next Saturday for Logan's Awesome Snack Review. So we'll see you again for next week. And thanks for watching. Have a good week, and God Bye. bless. Bye. God bless, everyone.